So what I've got here is a PlayStation that has the dreaded red light of death, yellow light of death, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I switch it on, we'll see the, uh, the red lights shining there and when we go to start it up, you see it went green and then it flashed and then it went red. So basically that motherboard is um, gone. So we've already showed you how to open the console and now what I'll do is show you how to take your motherboard out and put another motherboard back in. So the first thing to do obviously is to switch off the power and unplug it and then remove the cable. So it's safe to work on. And now what you need to do, I'll leave it this way around, is remove the Blu-ray. And we do that just by simply lifting it and removing the power cable. And you lift it further, underneath there's a little clip and that disengages the, um, the data ribbon. Now, on the bottom of your Blu-ray there's a little circuit board and this is called the logic board and it's matched or paired with the motherboard. They can't, they can't be separated. So when you buy a motherboard um, from the site you'll also get the paired logic board so you'll need to change both but for the moment we'll, we'll get on with removing the motherboard from the um, console case so next we need to take off we'll remove this cable and we'll remove that cable and that cable and they just simply slip out We'll take off the aerial, which at the back. This is the Bluetooth aerial. And it just unclips from its little socket there. Put that to one side. And as we've said in the other videos, just make sure that you put all your screws and bits and pieces in such a way or in an order that you know where they go back. I don't have to, as I say, if I've done this hundreds of times. So that's the uh, Bluetooth circuit board, the Wi-Fi circuit board. And the little cable just removes as well. Next we have to remove the PSU or the power supply unit. And it is held in place with five screws. They're all pretty easy just to take out. And that just lifts off and then disconnected at the back there. Put that to one side. And then there's an earth screw here. Just unscrew the earth screw. Put it to one side. Take off your Blu-ray data ribbon. That just clips up. And out it comes. So the next thing to do is on the side here is to open the cover and remove the hard drive. I've already removed this one for speed. There's a little blue screw in it. Unscrew the screw, it slides back, and out it comes. So that's all the screws removed. All I want to do now is Turn it upside down, give it a bit of a shake, and off it comes. Now underneath, you'll find the fan. You'll need to remove the fan. It's just three screws. These are universal, and um, so all fans fit all PlayStations. Right, it comes. That one's a little bit dusty. Give it a clean off, 
and there you go. An audio band mother, but oops, sorry. Just have to take this. Just remove the rear vent. That's your heat sink. That's your motherboard casing. The motherboard's inside. And um, those are the heat sink clamps. So we'll take this and we'll put it to one side. That's the faulty one.